Kelly Chandler and Rusty Kennedy, senior leaders of the Southeast Louisiana Flood Protection Agency, FPA, highlight Technology Evaluation Center's role in the review of the FPA's existing enterprise architecture and its selection of an enterprise asset management solution. The value of enterprise architecture. With Tech's evaluation of our existing enterprise architecture, if you want to call that, uh, we were still kind of in our in a archaic form with a lot of uh, paperwork and various programs doing um, a lot of the same things or uh, some of the same programs not even really tying into each other. So Tech's uh, software was able to evaluate where we had some, where we had wide a range of areas where we could make improvements. Uh, just to simply modernize uh, and offer us a uh, the ability to uh, catch up with the rest of the world on some of those programs. I think one huge advantage that tech brought was um, it brought um, its knowledge of other agencies and some of their challenges. And so the questions that were asked were really good to help guide the conversation. And it was the first time, I think, as an agency that all the departments sat down together to discuss their needs and their priorities and then try to you know work towards something that would benefit everyone working with fpa to keep the selection project on track while not disrupting business and last year was a above average storm season for us here uh very active uh we also were obviously dealing with the global pandemic and all the, the uh restrictions that came with uh working under uh, the conditions uh so uh, tech was able to switch and a lot of what was done um, with the vendors was predominantly, I would say, I guess probably 90 to 100 uh, percent all virtual. Uh, so we switched to a virtual approach uh, to all those meetings and, and still didn't really uh, miss a beat. Um, it, it stayed really efficient. And, uh, and that was a testament to tech uh, helping us uh, stay true to our schedule. Yeah, and I would say also because tech had a, a great way of um, laying out the steps that we needed to go through um, from just the overall, what are our needs, uh, identifying those through, you know, possible matches and then, you know, down to the short list. So they had a really great um, sense of, okay, well, what's the next step, you know, and, and, and walking us through that process so that we stayed on track even when we had other things come up the effect of Tech's project manager on contract negotiations. He was attentive to detail, uh, recognized early on what it was we needed at, in this agency, what was the highlights of the um, the vendors that would actually benefit us. Uh, he did a great job of making sure, you know, we were still focused on that um, and, and continued the path driving with the schedule. Um, and he was able to lean on his from what I understand, a, a long time of historical uh, career, basically a knowledge of working similar contracts and similar agencies and, and, and was able to lead us to a, a healthy selection when it was all said and done. Yeah, I was, um, you know, it's, we're a pretty unique agency in a lot of ways because we have uh, a unique finance uh, structure and then we've got, we're very diverse as far as grants and finance and then maintenance and engineering and GIS and inspections and all those things and so having that broad knowledge to really and take the time to really understand our needs um, and what made us unique as an agency was very um, beneficial and then also like Rusty said you know setting those milestones setting those due dates you know um, keeping us on track okay you need to get your rankings in and you need you know and just just walking us through the process um, was was super great. FPA progress now versus four years ago yeah, I'm super excited. I mean, I, I've told our board that, um, you know, we went through what I would consider a revolution starting about four years ago when we started regionalizing as an agency and, and um, combining um, locations and processes and departments. And um, and this to me is the next, the next re revolution um, where we really, um, you know, integrate within the agency, all of our processes from everything in the field and how that ties into inventory management and purchasing. Um, and it's just going to increase our efficiency and our visibility, uh, tremendously and really, uh, improve our operations. 
Technology Evaluation Centers thanks Kelly Chandler and Rusty Kennedy for their time and consideration in the making of this video. To know more, visit us at www.technologyevaluation.com.